Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so that means it is grocery haul day. I have quite the haul for you guys this week. I found a ton of new food because I visited a couple of local natural grocers, grocery stores. So I wanted to share what I picked up from there. You can find these things at stores such as Whole Foods, Sprouts. You can even find a lot of these foods online. But I just wanted to see what I could find that was new and different to share with you. I also went to Trader Joe's and Fred Meyer. So we have quite a haul this week. So if you want to see not only what I picked up for groceries, but what I'm doing for my meal plan and meal prep, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So I stopped by Yolks, which is a local grocery store. They have a big health food section. I mainly went to get kombucha, but I thought that I would do a walkthrough, see what they have that I haven't been able to find anywhere else. And here is what I picked up. So some fun new things. So let me show you what I picked up. The Primal Kitchen No Dairy Garlic Alfredo Sauce with Avocado Oil. You guys, the ingredients in this is so incredibly good. It is 60 calories for a quarter of a cup. Of course, I will have the points here on the screen for you, but really perfect, perfect ingredients. That way you can still have Alfredo with chicken and fiber gourmet pasta. So I'm really excited about that. I've actually not seen this in any stores. And then they have their sweet drops on sale. And one of you guys suggested these to me and I really, really like them in my coffee. So I bought the vanilla cream and then they had these for about $6.75 at Yolks Grocers. This is the English toffee. And you guys, these are really good in coffee. Really, really good in coffee. And then I also picked up the coconut because I love coconut anything. So that was a really good deal. You can't even get them for that price on Amazon. And then I saw this and I am going to be making a, uh, egg roll, kind of a clean eating egg roll. And I saw this organic sprouted vegetable fried rice. This is from Lundberg brand, which they make a really good rice cake that I showed in my Thrive haul. So I picked this up so we could have it as a side with our egg rolls. And again, really, really good ingredients as well and a much better option than your traditional rice a -roni. And then I saw these, these are white mulberries, organic dried white mulberries. I count these as zero points. It's literally just dried fruit. And I like to add these to smoothie bowls. So I'm not using very much anyways when I'm making my smoothie bowl. And you can see here, it is just white mulberries. But if you are going to track the points, here is the nutritional information. But these are a super fruit, so really good to add to smoothie bowls. And they were on sale, so I picked them up. This brand, Essential Living Foods, I've never seen before. So also with the mulberries from that same company, I got this powder. This was $9.99. This is organic wild protein smoothie mix, vegan protein and greens. So I thought this would be really good to add to smoothies. It is plant-based and it looks really, really good. It has really good ingredients. So here are the ingredients that are in there. So it's just a really good thing to add to your smoothies or even mix into your smoothie bowls. And it says here that you add the greens, fruit, coconut milk or water, ice, and you blend it up and you have a wild protein smoothie. So I scanned it and it looks like it's two points for four tablespoons. So not bad at all, about the same points as protein powder and a really good way to get in some extra greens. And also you guys saw me haul in last week's grocery haul, some of the cream of mushroom soup from Pacific. Well, it was a better price at this store. So I just grabbed the cream of chicken because we use cream of chicken soup in a lot of recipes. And then some guacamole mix. I've been really wanting guacamole and most of them have just really bad oils in them so this you actually make yourself and the ingredients in the mix are really really good other than sugar i don't know why they have to put sugar in there but it isn't very much because it shows the sugars as zero on the nutritional label so all you do is add your avocados and you have guacamole and then lastly i picked up a couple of siggies only because i've never seen this flavor this is the two percent milk fat i actually prefer the full fat but I love Siggy so much. And this is strawberries and lingonberries. It just sounds really, really good. These have great ingredients, pasteurized milk, cream, berries. So then it shows that it's strawberries and the lingonberries, cane sugar, fruit pectin, and live active cultures. That is it. So I love their yogurt. So I picked up two of those. So that's everything from Yolks. 
So here's what I picked up. Excuse my crock pot. I'm making dinner. Here's what I picked up from Huckleberries. I posted on my Instagram that I went to a local health food store. So I'm I'd say it's similar to a Sprouts or Whole Foods. More prices though, like Whole Foods. But I wanted to check it out because I've been having a hard time finding some of the food that I've been looking for at my local grocery store. So as you can see, I found some really good things at Huckleberry. So let me show you what I picked up. I decided to give oat milk a try and I saw this on a uh, YouTube channel that this is a great brand of oat milk. Actually, I think I saw this on Whitney Simmons channel that this is a good brand of oat milk. So the ingredients are good on here. There's oat milk, which is water and oats and then less than 2% of some other vitamins. So not bad at all. So I wanted to give it a try. I thought it would be good in my smoothie bowls and in my smoothies is just something different. And I've actually never seen this brand before. So I was excited to find that. Also on Whitney Simmons' channel, she talked a lot about Vans gluten-free waffles. I know she eats the blueberry ones, but I decided to get the plain ones just because the blueberry ones had some natural flavors, and this one does not. This one actually has really good ingredients, even expeller-pressed canola oil that's non-GMO. So I was excited to find that. I thought this would be a quick and easy breakfast. Also a snack. You can throw some nut butter on there and it makes a really good snack. So I grabbed those. And then you guys know I love my kombucha and I found this spring edition bloom. I've yet to see this anywhere else. So I had to pick this up and I don't generally track kombucha. Um, it's literally, I think, 50 calories for the entire bottle. So I usually don't track it and I don't drink it every single day anyways. And a lot of times I don't even finish the whole bottle. So that's just my personal choice. Feel free to track it if that works for you. And then I've been seeing Zevia, Zevia, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, a lot. And I wanted to give it a try because I've been eliminating Coke, Diet Coke, that type of thing out of my diet. So I'm going to try this ginger root beer. Boy, is this expensive. It was $5 for a six pack, but there's no caramel color or any of that stuff in here. So I'm excited to try it. Plus, I've heard it's absolutely delicious. And I think if I remember right, the sweetener in here is stevia so that's awesome it does have natural flavors though so that's the one thing that is questionable but it's natural flavors i'd rather have that over caramel coloring also they had a ton of flavors of hope hummus and their price was better than fred meyer so i picked up the black garlic that just sounds so good i love hope hummus they have really really good ingredients and then i saw these ezekiel 49 pita pockets and I wasn't buying the Joseph's just because of the ingredients and these actually are just as great as the Ezekiel bread is with really really good ingredients and these are only two smart points for a pita versus one for Joseph's so I'll gladly take the extra point for the better ingredients and then good culture is my favorite brand of pretty much everything and I have a really hard time finding it at my local store so I found the good culture whole milk sour cream I'm trying to not have light or reduced fat dairy so this whole milk sour cream is awesome and the price was pretty good on that and then I was really excited to find the whole milk cottage cheese I've been looking and looking for this and this is the only place I've been able to find it so excited for that and then I've also as you know I mentioned is I've been avoiding carrageenan just because it does have an inflammatory effect and so this cocoa whip is a dupe to whipped cream so any canned whipped cream even the really expensive organic whipped creams have carrageenan so this does not it is made from coconut oil so I was really excited to find it here are the ingredients really really good ingredients there is no carrageenan there is cane sugar um but other than that what they are binding this with is sunflower lectin and xanthan gum so i was excited to see that there is natural flavor that was the only questionable ingredient but hey it's a great way to reintroduce whipped cream into my life so i'm excited for that and then i grabbed some cheese I like the Walmart organic uh, shredded mozzarella, but they have not had it at my Walmart. And you guys, this was almost $6. And the one at Walmart is $3. So I'll be using this sparingly. And this one is actually one more smart point. It's three points for a quarter of a cup. And the Walmart mozzarella is two points. But I needed to have some good cheese on hand. 
went ahead and grabbed some more lilies because I used the last of them in my baking recipe that I made. So I have another refill here of my lilies. And then I grabbed an Amy's Organic Burrito. I'm actually going to have this today for lunch. This is the gluten-free black bean and quinoa. This is only four smart points. I was so excited to see that it's only four points. And here, I'll show you guys the ingredients in here. The ingredients are really, really good. So, I mean, for a food that is freezered, you know, and not a food that you're cooking at home, it has really good ingredients, including expeller pressed oil. So, I'm excited to have that. And then, you know, I've been loving this Essential Living brand, and I found these organic golden berries. So, I found the mulberries at my other local store that I, you saw earlier in the haul from the local yolks, but they have the golden berries. So, I was excited to have these. I like to put these on my smoothie bowls or in my smoothies. They are literally just the berry. There we go. Literally just the golden berry. So, I count these as zero points. I usually put literally a tablespoon on my smoothie bowl. I don't usually count dried fruit unless I'm eating a lot of it, but if I'm eating the same amount as I would of fresh fruit, I generally don't count it. I did grab some organic lime juice and lemon juice because this last week alone, I have needed this several times and had none on hand. And lastly, I was really excited to find the Siete Cashew Queso in Mild Nacho. Siete is such a great brand. They make their food really, really good with nice whole ingredients. This only has 35 calories for two tablespoons. And here is what is in this. So again, another great dupe for queso. And I hauled the Honest Stand Queso. I'll put a picture here for you guys. This one actually has better ingredients. So I'd recommend this one if you can find it in your local area. So that is everything that I picked up at Huckleberry's Natural Grocers. So here is this week's haul from Trader Joe's. I picked up a lot of produce there. I love their organic produce and the price. You can't beat it. And then I grabbed just a few other of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. So let me show you what I picked up. First I grabbed some organic peanut butter. I'm almost out of my mixed nut butter from Costco and I have not made another trip there. I probably won't here for a couple weeks. So this will get me through. And this is literally just peanuts and salt. So good choice if you're looking for a nut butter. Also another container of my maple syrup. I am about three quarters of the way through the bottle so I just wanted to make sure that I had that on hand. Also some almond flour. Again Costco really has the best price for almond flour but I need this for a couple of recipes so I decided to just Go ahead and grab it while well, I was at Trader Joe's. But again, if you can grab it from Costco, that's going to be your best bet for price. And then I'm gonna kind of move around so I can show you the zero point produce last. But I got another bag of the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella. I used to think that this was expensive, but it's not. It's pretty par for the course for organic cheese. And this cheese is really, really good and it's two smart points for a quarter cup. You can't beat it. And then real quick, let's jump over here. And I got a bag of teeny tiny avocados. I really like these because they're really small and I can eat the whole avocado in one sitting and it's not too many points because they are so small. And I did not get organic because avocados are protected from a lot of the pesticides because of the rind that is on there. So everything else is zero point produce. So I grabbed some organic baby broccoli or broccolini. This is for a recipe. What I like about this broccolini is it's just a little bit sweeter than regular broccoli. Also a couple bags of lettuce for salad, some organic romaine and organic butter lettuce and radicchio. I love butter lettuce, oh my gosh, so much. So I'm gonna mix these two together for salads. A spaghetti squash for a recipe, great price at Trader Joe's, not by the pound, but a flat $2.50, which is a really good deal. I had to get a couple more sumo mandarins because I loved them. These are $1.79 a piece at Trader Joe's, so I don't know if that's comparable to the grocery store. I know I paid over $7 for three of them last week, so. I decided to go the each price route. Two tomatoes, these are for my husband. He's having BLTs for lunches this next week. And then I finally found the Meyer lemons at Trader Joe's. These were $1.99, which is a dollar less than I was paying at Fred Meyer for the same amount of Meyer lemons. And again, organic isn't necessary because of the rind of the lemon. Some green onions, these are for a recipe. Now I would have liked these organic, but Trader Joe's only carried the regular ones, so I should have just got them at Fred Meyer, but it is what it is. Next time I'll pick them up at Fred Meyer. 
organic celery hearts for a recipe and for snacking some organic asparagus i have been on this big asparagus kick lately i don't know why but for some reason i've been really loving asparagus some iceberg lettuce this is for my husband's blt sandwiches some cut and peeled carrots i just bought that really good garlic hummus from the huckleberries natural grocers and i want to have carrots with it because oh it sounds so good and then i went ahead and grabbed some organic wild blueberries really good price on these and these are those little teeny tiny blueberries and they're super super sweet so i love them so i picked those up and lastly a huge pack of organic strawberries 8.49 at trader joe's which seems ridiculously expensive but they're not in season so it's actually not too bad of a price and these actually look really really good so that's everything from trader joe's so let's jump into our final stop which was fred meyer and our last stop fred meyer or kroger i did pick up another a couple of non-food things but i don't want to show you because you're going to be seeing those in an upcoming video just a couple of fun bowls for a smoothie bowl recipe video that i'm going to be putting out so let me show you what I picked up from Fred Meyer. First, I went ahead and restocked my Forager cashew milk. You guys, I love this cashew milk. No lie, this has the best ingredients that you're going to find. And this is on sale right now at Fred Meyer for $4.69. So it's a dollar off. I'm telling you, it's so good. No carrageenan, no artificial anything, no natural flavors. Love it. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Also, I picked up this half and half this week. I, they did not have any grass fed, which was interesting. That last little carton of grass fed was from Walmart. So I thought this would be fine. I did check the ingredients and it's just the milk. So this is the Simple Truth Organic half and half. Also another container of coconut water for my smoothies and smoothie bowls. I really like having this as an option to add to those. Pimentos, this is for lunch meal prep. I'm going to be making a pimento chicken type of sandwich. Also, I grabbed some of the Applegate Naturals Uncared Black Forest Ham. If you're looking for a really good high quality meat with nothing added, Applegate is amazing. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but you can't beat it and it has really, really, really good ingredients. There we go. So it's just pork, water, and sea salt, nothing else. So there is no natural flavors or sugar. And I'm going to be using this for salads and wraps. So I'm excited about that. Also picked this up for my husband. This is just some cheddar and jack cheese, just so he has some shredded cheese on hand. For those of you asking, he does not follow the same eating as me. He doesn't try to eat clean and whole foods. He eats whatever. So this cheddar jack cheese is for him. I also grabbed another dozen happy eggs. These, you guys, I'm telling you, best eggs for the price. Love them. Also for my husband, some buttermilk bread. He's gonna, again, going to have BLTs for lunches. So this is the bread that he chose. So I wanted to show it to you guys because it's only three smart points to slice. So not bad. Take a wild guess who these are for. That's right, Diesel and Lola. No salt added green beans. We go through about a can to two cans a week. Could they get this at dinner or lunch instead of table scraps? And they love them. So got those. And then I had a coupon for the Kettle and Fire Bone Broth. I've actually never tried this, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This is great to have on its own as soup, or you can use this in place of broth in recipes. So I thought I might use it to cook up some quinoa. So I'm excited to try that. It also has really, really good ingredients. And again, is a little on the pricey side, but they had a pretty good coupon for it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Also, I got some Simple Truth Organic Chicken Breast because I haven't made it back to Costco. This is much less expensive than buying it fresh in the meat section, and it's the exact same chicken. So this is two and a half pounds for $10. I found less than a pound for $6. So this is a much better bang for your buck. Also some Simple Truth Organic 93.7 ground turkey. This is just to have on hand for recipes. Again, for BLTs, I decided to go with the no sugar added uncured smoked bacon. That way I can eat this as well. This is one of the only ones I could find that was organic and did not have added sugar. So I picked that up right away. Everything else is produce. The only thing that has points, of course, are potatoes. So this is the Simple Truth Organic Russet Potatoes. We've been loving roasted veggies, so I wanted to have these on hand. I also grabbed two of the mixed bell pepper from Simple Truth, an orange and a red. 
We have some frozen fruit for smoothies and smoothie bowls. So I have some organic dark sweet cherries and organic pineapple chunks. Also picked up some green beans. I actually had a coupon for a free pack of the private selection green beans. These are not organic, but green beans, uh, they're not on the dirty dozen list, but I would prefer them to be organic, but it was free. So I went in and picked it up. And lastly, I grabbed some green giant rice to veggies. This is the cauliflower medley. Again, not organic, but I wanted to have this on hand to make cauliflower fried rice or something like that. So went ahead and picked that up. So that is everything for this week. Lots of groceries this week. So let's jump into my meal plan and my meal prep. So let's jump into this week's meal plan. As of right now, I am planning on flying out to San Diego on Friday to see my best friend and do a fun run unless the fun run is canceled and then I may postpone my trip. But this is what I have going on for the week. So this is the week of 314 through 320. So as of today, I'll just be going out to dinner today. Saturday is the day that I use my weekly so I don't track on that day. Sunday, I'm going to be making a Szechuan beef stir fry. I'm actually really excited about this recipe. I've been craving this kind of food, so I'm gonna make it a cleaner, healthier version of it, so I'm super excited. Monday, we'll be doing our typical leftovers because I go to Jazzercise. Tuesday, I'm making a Cobb salad, and I'm so excited. I'm going to be making a homemade clean dressing, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. Of course, uh, Wednesday is leftovers as well because of Jazzercise. Thursday, I'm making spaghetti squash lasagna. Again, I'm really excited about this. Taking out the noodle and using spaghetti squash instead. So excited for that. And then as of right now, I'm going to San Diego on Friday and I won't be returning until Monday. Now, if I do go to San Diego, there will not be a meal prep up uh, on Monday because I'll be in San Diego. So it's just gonna kind of depend on what happens. But if I end up staying home, I did kind of plan what I wanted to meal prep. So I would be prepping strawberry shortcake oatmeal. I'm excited for this. This is a clean eating recipe as well. Sounds delicious. Lunch, I'm going to be making pimento cheese chicken salad sandwiches. I know that sounds weird, but I've seen this recipe made a couple times. It's actually an Emily Bites recipe and people say it's really, really good. So Stay tuned. And then for a snack, I'm really excited about these. I'm making no-bake cake balls. Yes, my friends, we're gonna make cake in the form of a ball that's healthy. My husband's actually excited about this too because he can eat these. So he's excited for that. So that's what is on the plan for meal prep as of now. And then of course, what's on my menu. So let's take a look at my Carrie L meal planner. So this is my meal planner. I am obsessed. I'm so glad I chose this cover. This is a new cover for this year. These meal planners, you guys are just absolutely stunning and they are so comprehensive. Highly recommend you have this on your weight loss journey. It just helps with planning and staying on track. So we're gonna kind of look at it a little bit closer. So first there is the resources tab, and this is where you can jot down your favorite meal planning blogs, recipe sites, really just anything that you wanna take note of when it comes to recipes. There's the inventory tab, which I'm excited to actually do this today. I spent some time cleaning out my fridge, freezer, and pantry. So now I can actually inventory what's in my freezer, what's in my pantry and i actually really like the spice option because i find that my spices sometimes expire before i use them and there's no point in keeping expired spices so this is a great resource and then the meal plans tab is what we just kind of took a look at you can take a look at your meal plan by the month and i love this what i use this for is to plan my dinners so but the night before I take a look and see what I am planning on making for dinner the following night, I make sure I have all of the ingredients and my meat is out of the freezer. So just at a glance, you can make sure you have everything on hand for your meals. And then every week there is a weekly menu and that's what we just took a look at, this guy right here. There's a weekly menu where you can plan actually all of your meals if that's what you choose to do. I only plan my dinners because I meal prep breakfast and lunch. So that's why I, you only see me actually list out what I'm having for dinner. But you can plan all of your meals. There's a detachable grocery list, which I use every week. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then there is the gatherings tab, which actually looks very similar to the weekly menu tab. And this is where you can plan events, Christmas, Thanksgiving, 
birthday parties. Plan what you're gonna be serving, everything down to the supplies you'll need, and then again, a detachable grocery list. Love it. And then lastly is the notes tab, and of course, that's just a place for you to jot down any notes. And then in the very, very back, there is this cute two-sided folder, and this is where I just pop in my recipes for the week so that they're right on hand and easy for me to have access to. So that is my Carriel meal planner. Again, highly recommend you guys. You'll be shocked at the difference it makes in your journey. My code here on the screen will get you 10% off. Click the link down in the description box enter the code at checkout. You do actually have to click the link in order to use the code. And again, it is down in the description box. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW A Clean Approach Eating Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fun new things that I found. I can't wait to try them all out. I have some really fun videos coming your way, a protein powder video, smoothie bowls, and all things snacks, which I'm so excited about. I've been hoarding all my snacks to share with you guys in that video. So make sure if you're new that you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss, miss those videos or any other videos for that matter. If you love these grocery hauls and all these new ideas, give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps out my channel so much. So thank you in advance. And of course, leave those comments down below. Let me know what you guys are most excited about in this week's meal plan. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. I'm